Uh, the Learning on Country program started in Barulule in 2018. Um, it's a great program we have running here um, with the ranger groups. So we, we work with two ranger groups, the Alianta Wiriata Sea Rangers and the NLC Waini Garo Rangers. So a lot of our students um, love coming to school now because of the Learning on Country program. It's boosted our attendance here at school. The Learning on Country program gives the students opportunity to connect back to country. Uh, most of them don't get to go out on country all the time, so the program yeah, gets them to go back and learn about bush tucker, bush medicine, animal tracks, uh, th their identity, which is important to us as um, Indigenous people. As the principal of Borolula School, it's really important that our two-way learning um, is embedded in everything we do. And the Learning on Country course really gives that opportunity for the students, no matter what clan they're from, to really come through and show their true identity, their connection to land. Having the elders come in, having the community, the people with that expert knowledge and passing that on is what brings the program alive. Being out on country with the traditional owners and them sharing that knowledge and watching how our children interact with them is absolutely fantastic. It brings the program alive. It's so important, the respect, the activities that occur. Um, even bringing some of the elders into the school sometimes and then taking them back out onto country. So I'm very proud of being a part of the Learning on Country program. I grew up living on country out at my place out at Manangura and Vandalin Island. So I got to do a lot of cultural stuff with my grandparents and my parents like fishing, hunting and a lot of the kids at school that live in Borolula don't get to do that. So me being here and giving them the opportunity through our Learning on Country program um, really makes me happy. It makes the kids happy because they get to go out and learn all this stuff that they don't really get the opportunity to learn about. The camps with all the elders out there, with the families working together, it's that two-way learning. The teacher moves back and everybody else from the families and the elders and nutrition owners come forward and it's really then what brings the kids alive. I see a change in them, like they felt comfortable in walking around, chatting to all the different services and it helped like build their confidence to talk to services about their employment pathways and yeah. We had a really good day today um, here at the school with the lock program. Everybody together, it was good. The children were so excited to see the um, grill, fire grill outside, the extinguisher work and the grip torch work. Tap off or, or, and stand it up or blow it out. Get where the fire is there, you get down low. And you, oh. that. you want to be down low so that you actually cover the fire. People that have the knowledge of that area and how to connect it to that land. We never go around and start setting up ranges straight away. We had to get our um, 
uh, information from our people because they're the one that knew all about it. Caught in the front of it, you're going to get burnt. <coughs> Always try and go around the outside and basically sweep across it like that. Oh, that's it. Very good. See how now you took the fire. Well. Giving them the opportunity to learn, learn that is important. It makes them who they are and it helps them to build confidence as a person and en enables them through our two-way learning, learning program um, the opportunity to be able to walk in two worlds and builds the confidence to grow up and go out and be able to find jobs with, with our services here in town or if if they want to grow up to be doctors or lawyers, but they'll always have that connection to country.